Um, all right, guys, today I want to talk a little bit about the difference between a kipping pull up and a butterfly pull up. Uh, same kind of method can be applied to a uh, chest bar as well. Uh, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo the two movements. So I'll start with a kipping pull up uh, and then I will move into uh, what we call a butterfly pull up. Okay. So that is the kipping pull up, uh, probably the most common uh, that we use uh, in the CrossFit gym. Uh, second one, butterfly. Uh, so with the kip, it's a little bit of a slower, more controlled movement. Uh, the butterfly pull-up is going to be have a faster cycle time. Um, and it's going to be a little bit more taxing uh, cardio-wise. So uh, with the pause at the top uh, and it being a slower motion with the kipping, uh, you can recover a little bit with that. doesn't take uh, as much energy as going into a butterfly. Butterfly is going to take up, uh, take a lot more energy, but it's going to be a faster movement. So there's a specific time and a place to use the butterfly. Um, if you are somebody that has made the switch, um, over to butterfly and that's your primary uh, movement for pull-ups, uh, you always want to make sure that you can still perform a good solid kip because that's always going to be your fallback. It will come a time in a workout where you're taxed, fatigued, uh, and you need to, to be able to make that switch to continue the workout to going into a kipping. Uh, so I kind of look at it like barbell cycling. Uh, so if you're doing barbell cycling, without dropping hang power cleans, you're moving pretty quick. Again, that's gonna be a lot more taxing versus if you were to clean it, drop it, reset, clean it, drop it, reset. So again, uh, as an athlete, knowing when to make that switch, knowing when to use uh, which of the movements. Um, as far as knowing when you're ready to start learning the butterfly pull-up, uh, I usually have a general rule uh, with my athletes that they can uh, complete a workout, uh, say Helen or Fran, they can complete that workout, not necessarily unbroken, uh, but with a good quality set of pull-ups, um, maybe even using a gauge of being able to do two to three sets of 10 uh, pull-ups before kipping pull-ups before moving into starting to learn the butterfly. Butterfly pull-up isn't exactly uh, strength based, it's more about coordination. Um, so, kind of that's when you're starting, and I always tell everybody to start small, start slow um, when learning the butterfly pull up, and most importantly, be patient with it. Um, so, moving on to the differences in the two pull ups. So, going into the specifics here. So, uh, the reason why I want to go through this is because I think a lot of people move into butterfly and they don't really understand the movement pattern and therefore they try to do it like the kip and uh, I tell everybody that everything that they learned uh, with the kipping pull up can be thrown out the window because the butterfly pull up is the complete opposite of that movement and so I think once people can start to understand what exactly is happening through the movement uh, they're going to be a lot more successful in taking the time to learn the butterfly so, uh, starting with the, the movement pattern, all right? So in the kip, uh, we move from uh, horizontal uh, to vertical, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like. So horizontal to vertical, here. So here's your horizontal, vertical pull, okay? Um, with a butterfly pull up, uh, you're moving in a term that we like to use in gymnastics called global extension and global flexion. So generally you're just making a uh, large circle with your body. Um, so what that looks like okay. So you should be able to clearly see the, the difference uh, in those two movement patterns. Uh, the second is going to be body position. I'd say this is the biggest, the biggest kind of uh, light bulb switch to this light bulb, light bulb switch to this movement, and that being that at the top 
of a kipping pull-up, you're in what we call the hollow body position, okay? And then from there, at the bottom of the kip, you're in the arch position. So complete opposite of the butterfly. In the butterfly pull-up, at the top, you're in an arch position, and at the bottom, you're in the hollow body position, okay? So again, we'll look at that really quick. I'll pause at the top so you can see, try to slow down the movement a little bit so that you can see the bottom as well. So, top position for the kip is here, bottom is here, okay? For the butterfly, top, bottom, top, bottom, okay? So you can see that at the bottom I'm transitioning that hollow body in order to create power. So probably the biggest difference that people might not connect with right away when they're first learning. Um, the second is the position of the chin. So at the top of a pull-up, a uh, kipping pull-up, your chin is gonna be over the bar, okay? That's the movement standard. Uh, with butterfly, that can't happen because there is no pause at the top. And if you were to do that, chin's gonna make contact with the bar in a very uncomfortable way. And so at the top for a butterfly, okay, the position of the head is gonna be back. I always tell my athletes to look up higher. So find a spot, maybe uh, on a wall or on the rig or up on the ceiling to kind of focus on. But the position of your chin when you're doing butterfly should be up. Also too, if you were to keep your head neutral in that position and straightforward, what could happen is that you think, as you're doing your butterfly, you think that your chin is coming over the bar, but it's not. Then if you just look up, it'll set your chin above the bar. So uh, really quick what that looks like for the kip. Notice that my chin is above the bar, push away, I'm good for the butterfly. My head is back, my chin is clearly going over the top, but not going, sorry, it's making uh, above, but not going over the top or breaking the plane of the pull-up bar. Um, connecting, so the second one, moving into uh, connecting your pull-ups. So with kipping, when you're at the top, there's that little pause, there's a big push away, okay? So that's the big difference. For pull-ups, skipping pull-ups, you're pushing away from the top. With butterfly, uh, opposite, okay? With your butterfly, when you're at the top, you're actually falling through and underneath the pull-up bar, okay? So, again, what that looks like for kipping. Here, big push away. For butterfly, fall through. So my chest, and my he uh, hips are moving underneath, pulling myself under the pull-up bar, and then going into that arch position to move into my next one. Um, so, again, biggest difference, movement pattern, body position, what's going on with the chin, and then uh, actually connecting uh, for reps. So, and that being said, when you start moving into butterfly pull-ups or practicing, I tell everybody, take their time, okay? Start slow, uh, don't get too aggressive with it. Uh, biggest thing I tell everybody is to start with a smaller kip or swing. So here, making circles starts just like you would a kip, okay? So just like you would start your kip, and then from there, I just start to move small circles that are controlled under the pull-up bar, nothing big, as I get more comfortable, I start to add a bigger pull, okay? Uh, it's not about how hard you're kicking with your legs, how much swinging you're doing with your hips, okay? It starts with the shoulders, letting the hips follow, keeping a slight bend in the elbow so that you can naturally move through, let that chest come through, close on the way, on the way down, and you're just staying consistent. Once you start to get that rhythm, start adding uh, a more aggressive pull, okay? So again, those are some things 
that you can think about when transitioning from kipping and learning and starting to do your butterflies. So practice, 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 and uh, good luck.